What's going on, you guys? I'd like to welcome you guys to the channel. It's your Big Dog back with another one take review. And today I got one for Red Notice. It's a film that dropped on Netflix, one of the, I think, the highest budgeted film. And I want to say over the two, well, $200 million, I want to say. Uh, yeah, $200 million. And it stars Ryan Reynolds, Gal Gadot, and Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I saw the trailers for this thing. It looked like it was going to be a blast. It looked like it was going to be fun. And it's kind of that. It, it's not bad by any means. No, take that back. It's bad in certain means, you know, but at the same time, I, I think I knew exactly what kind of movie I was getting myself into. I think I was just like, hey, entertain me. If you can do that, I'll speak highly of you. And I, they do, I do think it accomplished that. Basically, it's about in the world of international crime and Interpol agent attempts to hunt down and capture the world's most wanted art thief, okay? Directed by Rawson Marshall Thurber. Yeah, that's pretty much it. The Rock is after Ryan Reynolds, who he's been getting leaked information by the Bishop, the world's one of the uh, another one of the world's uh, greatest art thieves, and he's like, okay, let me go capture this guy. Turns out he ends up getting framed. Those two have to team together and find this artifact before the Bishop does, which is played by Guy Gondo wonderfully. Might, might I add? I think I don't necessarily know who's the shining star in this. But just going about how much I really laughed in this film, I would probably say Ryan Reynolds, okay? Ryan Reynolds is hysterical. I think when you put Ryan Reynolds with somebody who's serious, it just tends to work, okay? And The Rock's not necessarily always serious, obviously, because he definitely has comedic chops. But those two together are a, are, are a fantastic pair. I really haven't seen a, anybody be a bad pairing with Ryan Reynolds yet. The two are great together. And Ryan Reynolds constantly has you laughing. Do they do some foolishness throughout this film? Absolutely. Do they get out of situations that make absolutely no sense? Absolutely. Do people appear out of nowhere where in spots where there weren't supposed to be a way in? Absolutely. But are you going to laugh? Are you going to cry? You're not going to cry. But are you going to laugh and have a good time and just see some intense fighting and explosions? Not enough explosions on my part. Personally, I would have, I'm saying, preferred more of a Michael Bay route, you know what I'm saying, as far as explosions go. We didn't necessarily get that. It wasn't a bad thing, though. It's just sometimes you need the explosion to give you something. But I, I do feel like I've seen this film before uh, in certain regards because I... It reminds me of the Hitman's wife's bodyguard in in a, in a sense. I think that I think that's the one, and it also reminds me of Six Underground. That's another one of the uh, uh, Netflix films with Ryan Reynolds and two films with Ryan Reynolds, and they kind of like putting a lot of the same elements and twists to it. And, and not 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 just a bad thing. It's just you want to do something a little bit more nuanced, something that like really keeps. And I think the only thing that really keeps you is the fact that these three are just absolutely fantastic. Okay, Gal Gadot is playing like the villainous role, but not in a way where she was trying to be menacing. I, it, she, more than anything, she was cunning and always steps ahead of everybody else. And, and she just seemed to be having so much fun in this role, and it came off on screen. All right. I like I enjoyed her a lot in this and she was a scene still and she was just so smooth and just that she's sexy okay so she definitely brought she brought the sexy to the film okay she brought the sexiness she brought the wittiness all of that was on deck as far as the script it's simple and I think anybody could have saw what was going to happen from a mile away uh but that I don't but in simple scripts I think the most important thing is like well you have to give the people something, okay? You have to give them some really great characters to latch on to, at least. Because if people, everybody knows, like, the story beats and everything that's going to happen, you have to give them some people who are going to entertain you in those moments. And I definitely think these people did that. But once again, there were stuff that were just utterly ridiculous. Why I was just like, there is no way in the bluest of blue hells that this should be happening right now. These people 100% should be dead. Also, why is nobody shooting at them when they definitely need to? It just was random stuff. The Rock survived. The Rock, you might see it in the trailer. It's not really a spoiler, but it's something that happens in the movie. The Rock get hit. The Rock get hits. The Rock gets hit by something, and I'm just like, 
He just got out like it was nothing. Like, there were so many times I was just like, okay, they just, oh, on to the next thing. It's crazy, man. It, it's bananas. Film is not good. I don't think the film is making anybody's top 10 this year. But as far as just, like, enjoyable film to have some fun with, I I, I had enough, okay? I had enough. Uh, it's just sometimes you definitely get took out because you, it's one of the things when you, you end the film and, they have to do this elaborate thing to get a place. And then somebody else just shows up there like nothing happened. I'm like, how did you get here? That was, I think, one of the one act where Ryan Reynolds and The Rock's character both have to break into this guy's art room. And they have to, like, like their timing had to be, like, literally perfect. And then an Interpol agent just pop up right behind him with like no security and no nothing. I'm just like, what? How did she get here? Like, she would have had to literally be where they was at and doing it at the same time that they were doing it. If not, it wouldn't work. So how the hell did she get here? It just and it was multiple, multiple times like that. So I was just like, okay, oh y'all got to do a better job with that. Like, what was the point of this being so elaborate if somebody else just could do it with just you know? No effort at all, you know what I'm saying. But overall, I think I get a, I, I get a film a solid C. You know what I'm saying. I think it's just a good time, just a little pop, nice popcorn movie. I definitely ate like two bags of popcorn while I sat and watched it in my living room. So it's cool, and I laughed. Like I barely laugh a lot. Like you is gonna, you gonna get your last word. Like most definitely. So yeah, you guys, if you seen Red Notice? Let me th know what you thought about it down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys staying safe. And your boy, catch up with y'all later. Peace out, people.